those situations really help you grow. When he was, he stabilized uh, really well. I thought him and Kevin Klein played very well tonight. So, uh, and you know, it, it was a good game. If you're a fan, if you, if you didn't know anything about hockey and you just came to your first game, you'd be coming back. Egret's, Egret's little offensive surge here lately any better than any he's had in his career at all? Oh, it, yeah, yeah it's, it's hard. Marty's had some great surges, but uh, the thing that I like with Marty is Marty's you know, scoring in different ways. I mean, you know, he, he, how many slap shots have you seen Marty take in, in uh, 14 years that I've been here? Uh, not a lot. But he's doing that more. And you know, he wired that. I mean, he was wiring them in practice today. Uh, even Pex will, will tell you that, that Marty was really getting hold of it. And, you know, so he's doing that. I, I, you know, a couple of things he did early, he was using a power move to the net and uh, creating some offense. So I like the fact that Marty is really you know, not just you know, not just playing one way. He's you know he's adapting to the game. If the game uh, requires you to really take the puck to the interior, you got to do that. You do that. If you got to shoot it from from uh, you know the point and, and, and put something on him, he's doing that. He's just he's uh, he's to me, Marty's one of the most underrated players in the league. Doesn't get enough. I don't you know I probably don't give him enough credit. But he, he's a he's a he's a wonderful forward. Six. Did you feel like the Perron penalty kind of got you out of the jam uh, in the first? It did. I mean, that power play goal, you know, our power play has been timely this year. Yeah, we were in a jam, and basically they uh, they were coming at us hard, and we need something to change the momentum, and that uh, uh, the power play goal really changed the momentum for us, and then we were, we were fine after that. 16th sellout, how loud crowd, how important was that for well, coming I, back off the road? It's important every game, but uh, tonight was – it, it felt different. I don't say it felt different. You knew it was a, a playoff type of game, and the crowd was going at it. And the, the Blues fans were, were were trying to raise a little bit of uh, a noise, and our fans drowned them out. And, you know, right at the end, uh, you know, that the last time out, you, know, you could hear your you, you know yourself think. And we almost got caught in a couple line changes just because it was so loud. The couple of players, uh, as I was getting hoarse on the bench. Couldn't hear me call, you know, what line was up, and almost got caught a couple times. So, um, I'll have to get used to it, or I'll have to go to voice classes. Eleven straight wins for Rene. Uh, what is he doing right consistently that making him that stopping the puck, that? making a big save? At the, the, to me, it, he's stopping the puck, but he's making the big save uh, when the when the game's on the line, and he's been doing that. Um, when the momentum's coming at us, uh, all those those key things. And, you, know, you talk about special special players, special um, people in this league. He's one of them. The uh, the incredible Central Division record. It, it you guys have kind of set out for the second half to win the division. How important is it to win these division games to do so? Well, yeah, you know we just want to win as many games as we can, and you know the, how tight it is uh, in the Central Division. It might be a tiebreaker. We don't, we don't, we don't know. The points might not be the difference. It might be regulation wins. It might be head to head. And uh, we're just trying to win as many games. And, you know, the Central Division is making every team better. The uh, Central Division is making the Blues better. The Blues are making us better. We're making them better. Uh, Detroit, we haven't played for a while, but uh, it's such a you know the Blackhawks. It's it's incredibly tough every night. You okay with uh, McGrath taking accepting the challenge from Reeves at, at that point in the game? Yeah, yeah. Big Vern is as tough as they come. He's not going to lose too many, and uh, I give a lot of credit. I don't know much about the Reeves kid, but he's a he's a tough kid, and um, it was a good boat. I mean, you know, that's that's what they do. And uh, they came out banging, and you know, Big Vern set the tone. They got three, you know, three big hits right off the bat. So, sort of, you know, they, they used to have a thing about you know the race for chase. And Kelly, Kelly played and Twister played. A lot of guys would rather, you know, fight Chase. So Tooch was getting a lot of invitations early. <laughs> so, okay. all right. Thank you.